Hello and welcome back to Danielle's Desk. Today we are back in my Bible journal doing a Proverbs 31 Bible journaling spread. So this will be my second time doing a Bible journaling spread with Proverbs 31. I will have the other video I did linked below um, and I can just quickly show it to you. Um, this is the one that I did. This is in the smaller Bible journal by Dayspring. This is the Psalms and Proverbs only and it turned out so good i actually used a bible journaling kit from a glittery life plans which is who we're using today mostly all of my bible journaling spreads are from a glittery life plans because i just i love her style and everything but if you do need another shop i do have white bird design co that is another one and i have her linked below in the favorites but this is the other one that i did so i just kind of want to quickly show you that so um when i sat down to do my notes and everything for um, proverbs 31 since i had already kind of done a study on it before i actually did a prayer for myself this time so i did something a little bit differently and i love this and I'm actually going to be really focusing on that this month, uh, not this month, this week, um, and being a true Proverbs 31 woman. So I just love that. But let me show you the kit that we are going to be using. This is brand new, and this is available in the shop right now. Um, so A Glittery Life Plans has been doing exactly... Um, one year worth of bible journaling kits so this is her one year kind of anniversary very excited about that i own and have used every single bible journaling kit that she has made and i hope that she continues it for another year but when you receive um the bible journaling kit from her you also receive this card which is just helpful tips on how to bible journal i love this so much and um, with the kit, you get so much. So you get a piece of vellum and I have done a couple of videos where I've actually used the vellum, but if you didn't, you could easily, you know, pop this inside of your planner, whatever you wanted to do. But I have planned with this before. Now today we will not be using the vellum today, but I have cut that up before and used it. It's very, very doable. Love these. These are little reminders. So this is something totally different and they're actually prompts that you can use. Um, is there anything God is speaking to me through this passage? What is an area I can ask God to help me grow in and what are my key takeaways? I absolutely love these. We're not going to be using this. We're actually going to be saving this because I have an idea for this at a later time, but love these so much. You can actually cut them out and just use these, but I have an idea for them. So just uh, hopefully I can film it that's what I want to do um, and then you get also these strips so it just has some decorative elements on here and I do love this as well you get um, another prompt it says how am I a Proverbs woman so this is kind of something similar to what I did in the prayer again you get another beautiful pattern which I think is beautiful we might use this today not really sure i really don't have a vision on how i want to use everything it's just the lord always sees fit for it to come together uh, when i sit down to do these so this is the white matte stickers so pretty love the colorway that she chose with this proverbs 31 and she took just remnants um you know words from scripture in proverbs 31 and just use these with the stickers and then here are transparent this is my absolute favorite right here i'm actually going to be using this in my daily planner because i want to use this actually i really need to message her and see if she will make me just a whole sheet of these um in the white mat because i love these so much but you get little scrapbook pieces we're definitely going to be using a few of these on today and then we get a third sheet of white mat so again a lot of beautiful floral decorative uh, elements and then we get transparent, just scrapbook pieces. She's taken some words out of Proverbs 31. So um, you get a lot and it's a little bit different than um, other kits um, that we've had. So I'm very excited about it. So I'm actually going to pull out, um, I think we might use these. I'm not sure, but we're going to pull these out. I'm going to put those over there. 
Um, I've already turned to Proverbs 31. Um, I will have this Bible linked below. It is also in my Amazon storefront along with other Bible journaling um, tools and things like that. If you are interested, I will have my Amazon storefront listed below. But it is so pretty. This was this is my spring Bible journaling, spring summer that I've been using. It could actually even flow over into fall, I feel like. But I've really been enjoying this one. I've done, um, what, two or three spreads in this one. I just see one peeking through right here. This is one. So these are some stickers that I was talking about from White Bird Design Co. So um, if you just need another shop, she's also one of my favorite. And I did a few out of Isaiah 41 and 10. So anyway, we have this open space here. And um, as far as highlighting, we will do that at the end. I don't have any specific verses that I want to highlight since we're just kind of doing Proverbs 31 all together. But I love the fact that I just have this perfect little space to do whatever I want to in here. Um, so I didn't pull any washi tape because I wanted to use a lot of the scrapbook pieces that we had in here. And I don't really see anything where it like it says 31. That's the only thing that she has in here, but nothing that really says Proverbs 31. We're going to start out with the white mat because that is my absolute favorite. And I think that I want to place this like right down the middle of the page. Let me pull my scissors. Um, I'm going to pull these. I got these from Pen Paper and Plans. So another thing that um, I have been thinking about that the Lord has laid on my heart is um, I'm thinking about doing a week focus over on Instagram with whoever wants to kind of join in or whatever. I'm trying to find some tape. I know I had some. I know I have some in my... Um, bag but I didn't bring my planner bag in here so I'm hoping that I have some tape somewhere but I'm not seeing any tape I may have to go and grab my planner bag because I'm not seeing any tape and that's so unusual for me not to have any ah I think I found some I'm sorry, I got I got off topic. Um, I did find some tape. Um. Anyway, what I was saying is that um, doing a week long focus on Proverbs 31 over on Instagram, and what that means for me, or what I would like to do with that is is that um, we will take down Proverbs, take apart Proverbs. 31 and just read it and dissect it for seven days and then also giving kind of like some prompts for us to be more like a proverbs woman since you know the lord truly has given that to us i feel as a guide um i really do um the way that it's laid out and, you know, it's, it's his wisdom. It's your, you know, it's his wisdom um, on how a Proverbs woman should look like and who she is. But for me, it's much more, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this tape out. It is much more than just about the deeds that we do. It's more about the character. And that's what I take from you know, this particular scripture that it is, it is, the Proverbs woman isn't about deeds. It's about the character. And so I really am thinking and praying about this. Um, I know that I wanted to do a week long focus this week, so I'm not sure if God wants me to do that first and then come together and you know, have ladies do it together. Not sure yet. Praying about that. So if that's something that you would be interested in and in going through Proverbs 31 verse by verse over on Instagram, comment down below and let me know. Um, 
because I don't know, kind of, I feel like this is what the Lord is kind of prompting me to do. So we're going to cut this a little prompt out here. Uh, and I'm going to save the other ones because like I said, I have a vision for that. So we're going to save that. And have that in there, throw this away. And I kind of want to do it something like that. I don't know. What do you think? I know I probably should own the tape that just kind of rolls, but <laughs> no, Daniel has to do things the hard way. And I don't ever remember to buy that. I don't, I don't know why. I just never think to, oh, you need this. I just like good old fashioned, like gift wrap tape. <laughs> okay. So we have that there. And then I want to do a few pieces everywhere. So we're just going to um, take some of the uh, transparent and I'm just going to kind of line this up at different places around the page. Um, so pretty, so dainty. Um, if you have never purchased from um, a glittery life plans then you are missing out uh i was re-watching my last video that i had from uh that i did when i did the jeremiah spread and i my I, i've said that in that particular one that her stickers oh i'm sorry you're so out of frame um feels like butter and that is that's how i could say it it feels like butter um, I want to put one of the words in here that she has, um, and I want to use the white mat. So I'm trying to see which one I would want to use. Um, I'm going to use thoughtful right in there, just right there. These are so pretty. I want to use like all the words because the, the words that are in this scripture is so powerful and I think that's what I want to highlight. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's what I want to highlight. I normally highlight the verse, but since we're using like, um, we're, you know, like journaling the whole thing, I want to highlight some key verses. That's what I want to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving that to me. Okay, so I want to do trustworthy. So we're going to put that right there. Perfect. I am meal prepping my fish. And my fish was ready. So I'm trying to see what else do I want. There are no more like little banner things. So I would have to I'm trying to think. Uh I guess we can use this one. I need to see how long I actually been doing um like journaling a uh, bible journaling it's been a minute um that i have um been doing a uh, bible journaling i can remember how excited i was when i first started because i was like this is perfect like my love for the lord and stickers and everyone does bible journaling very very differently some people are so creative and use like um paint and i mean that's not danielle that makes me that gives me so much anxiety <laughs> but like stickers is so me like i would love to and actually my james the james method group that i run is actually helping me with this 
with doing some stamping because I really want to um, incorporate some stamping. I really do. Like, so they're kind of helping me. Like, we do this virtual meetup, so um, I would like to do some stamping. <laughs> I really would. I really would like to to do that. We've, we've talked about that and they've shared with me how easy it is and stuff like that because I have like all of this stamping stuff and that I've purchased but I'm just so scared to use it. So they're helping me with that, the ladies. Um, so I'm just placing like stickers everywhere um and i want to use some of these flowers they're so pretty i said that i was going to use the white mat but i'm actually using more of the um transparent than anything because they're just so pretty uh let's see yeah we're going to use this one here i just love that so much it just looks so good um, 31 actually starts here, but, um, I'm not going to put anything there. I just wanted to do it here. I'm trying to see, do I want to add anything else? I feel like I need something along here, but I feel like I need to pull in some, um, my washi, like my own washi. So I'm going to pull out this tray. This is the tray of all of my teals and stuff like that that I feel like that would correspond with this um I feel like I need like a thin washi to go here at the bottom so I have this one it's silver though I would have probably preferred like a gold but we're gonna go with it and I feel like we need to we need to put something down here to do next is um there's a few words like I talked about that I want to um what do you call it highlight so I didn't pull a Tombow so we're gonna pull one so we could go with like a moth kind of like I have this one here so that I think would go perfectly or we could go with um, just a nude color or we can do both. So let me get a sticky note out so we can kind of see which color we're working with. Let's see here. I'm trying to find like a white one so it'll, it'll show up pretty good. Really, I don't have like any white. Okay, this is good. So this is the pink one. Gosh, it's so pretty. And then here is the nude one. Ooh, I don't know if I like. Well, it's not bad, but let's see if we can find another one. So this one. I think this one, if I did go, it would be these two, I think. And I'll give you the numbers in case you want them. So this one, oh, I don't know. I think it's two nine seventy nine on this one. It's kind of rubbed off. And this one is nine ninety. So in case you were looking for some. Um, so I'm just gonna go through. I'm gonna start on this side, and I'm just gonna go through, and I'm just going to highlight some keywords that I want. Um, this. Okay, I just want to make sure because it it actually starts here, but I just want to make sure there wasn't anything on that side that I wanted. So, so I definitely want virtuous, um, precious than rubies, 
can trust her. Love that. And she will greatly enrich his life. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She finds wool. She's like a merchant's ship bringing her food. She gets up before dawn. I love this. Her how I'm planning for the day's work for her servant girls. She goes to inspect the fields and buys it. She is energetic and strong. She makes sure her doings are profitable. Her hands are busy spinning thread. She extends a helping hand to the poor. I love this and opens her arms to the needy. I just want to highlight this whole thing. <laughs> she has no fear of winter for her house, so for everyone has warm clothes. She makes her own bedspread. She dresses in fine linen. Her husband is well known where he sits. She makes, she is clothed with strength. This is a pretty popular verse. It lies without fear of the future. When she speaks, her words are, I'm not even using the other color. Have y'all noticed? I haven't even picked it up. Ugh. I want to highlight all of this. Um, it suffers nothing from laziness. Oh, you know, just reading this, I, I just, Lord, please just give, this is the, I, I want to be this Proverbs 31 woman. Uh, stand and bless her. Her husband praises her. There are many virtuous and capable women in the world, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty does not last. But a woman who fears the Lord is greatly praised. That is a, a pretty popular one. Reward for hers. Okay. All right. We didn't even use this. But I did highlight several. So, so that is done. I just think it came out so good. So this is the first part. As y'all know, with my... Um, Bible journaling, I also do a notes page as well because it is very important to me that we just don't play with stickers when we're doing Bible journaling, but we also um, hear from the Lord. We hear from the Holy Spirit who teaches us and guides us. So um, we're going to pull out our stickers again, um, and we are going to use what? What are we using? I think with this one, I might need to pull in some washi tape. So we're going to pull in this one from Simply Gilded. Because I think that we're... I normally, like, put washi here. So... Um, let's see we're gonna do some of the pieces so I'm gonna pull this one off of the white mat sheet here and we're gonna place that there so pretty and then I'm gonna take what am I wanting to take I think I'm gonna take this larger one here And we're going to place... Oh, that's so crooked. Oh, is it going to be forgiven to me? Is the paper going to be forgiven? It tore a little bit, but it was so crooked. Okay. It's still crooked, but it'll work. So, um, I want to put one of these words. And I'm going to take this 31... And I'm going to take this strong. And let's see. I'm going to put that here. So my prayer is going to go. Remember, I, I'm doing something a little bit differently. And I think that's so cute. Okay. So my prayer is going to go right there. Let me see if I have some, ouch, some scripts. So I'm going to go, yeah, this is my um, a Glittery Life Plans uh, binder. So I'm going to go through here and see if there's, she normally gives us like little scripts and stuff. Um, it's Advent. October faith. Let's 
see here. Um, let's see. I see some right here. So does she have prayer? Or have I used it already? Take a deeper look. Worth favorite verse. If not, it's okay. But I was just trying to see if she had some words that I could, some scripts. I keep seeing words, scripts. I don't see any. It's okay. I'm sure I don't have any back here anywhere. I know we, this is one, but I I think I may have used all of these. Yeah, used all those. Just making sure. Extra add on. Did I look through those? Yeah, I looked through those. So. Nope, she doesn't have one that says like prayer. And if I did, it's probably over in my functional stuff. And I don't have that with me. It's over by my recliner, so that's okay. All right, so I think that's how it's gonna look. If I wanna put something here at the bottom, I just wanted to add just another little something at the bottom. Mm, let's just add a floral, a little flower, the leaves, and do that right there. Okay, that'll work. Love that. All right, so that's for me to put my prayer. And like I said, I've put uh, some of my Bible study notes, my Bible journaling notes in here. So perfect, perfect. So let's bring back out our Bible journal, just so we can take a look at everything together. It turned out so good. And then we have our little notes page. So like I said, this is available. The entire kit is available at a Glittery Life Plans. I will have a Glittery Life Plans linked below. Um, make sure that you comment and let me know if you would be interested in just spending seven days diving into Proverbs 31 and then specifically praying that um, we are more like a Proverbs 31 woman and that would be over on Instagram. I'm going to be actively praying for that to see what direction the Lord wants me to go, but I would love to hear from you. So please comment down below. I do have a code for a Glittery Life Plans and I will have that listed below. It is Danielle 15 to save. Thank you so much for joining me here at Danielle's desk. If you enjoyed putting together our Bible journaling spread um, doing Proverbs 31, please give the video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from me, consider subscribing and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.